Hey guys, Tyler here. Now, we're in black and white because I want to show you something real quick. Okay, this is a rotary telephone. Now, this telephone was made in the 60s. Now, from, from the 40s all the way up to probably the mid-80s, you could use one of these telephones. I mean, around the, around the mid-80s, early, early 80s, when everyone was getting rid of the carburetor and going to that electronic fuel injection system, people stopped using these rotary phones. I mean, this one still does work. But I mean, it's not connected. Well, actually, if you look, if you look right here, like I'm gonna show right here, this phone is not connected to anything. As you can see, this one's actually not connected to the wall. And I had to one time I did hook up to the. I mean, we do have a kale box here. I hooked up the kale box one time, which if I ever do it again for a test, I will definitely hook it in so you guys see the dial tone. Now it does work. The thing is, you can't dial no one with this thing. Now back in the old days, now this is a rotary telephone, okay? Up until now, you take out the receiver, and then you push the button. Now, I have another telephone back here that's also a rotary, but that's a push button. Now, back in the old days, you pull this up, and you put it in your ear, then you hit the signal here with the operator, you, you got your operator. Or, or in late 90, or, in, or to my knowledge, from late 80s, early 90s, you did 4, 1, 1. You, according to what I heard, you do 4, 1, 1 for the operator, or you use the phone book. Now, actually, I have a county phone book right here, which I'm going to show you right now. This right here is my county phone book. The last time this county phone book was issued was back in 2015. Now, everything in this county phone book is mostly businesses. I mean, you can't see because you're in black and white, but most of these phone numbers in this phone book here, like, this is the yellow pages. In the back of the phone book, like, this phone book was, this is not a modern phone book. This, this phone book only has businesses in it because no one ever now uses their phone. But here's another phone book I have here. Here's a phone book from a few years ago. This phone book's from the year 2017, August 2017. This phone book's out of Kalamazoo. Yeah, you have the Yelp pages still. You do have the Yelp, this is a Kalamazoo phone book. Now you still have, now this is the house, this is, now these are not businesses. I mean, these are actual, some of these are businesses. Some of these are people's, now this is the Yelp pages, but if you go back here, the is here. If I go towards the back of here. Back in the old days, yellow pages in the front, but right here, these are not all businesses. Some of these are actually people's phone numbers. These are people's phone numbers and stuff. Some of these are people's phone numbers, but I'm not going to show you them because of legal reasons. But yeah, back in the old days, you used a phone book like this to find someone's name and number. Now, if you had a landline, and back then we didn't have front before. Back in the old days, back in the early 2000s, I still had a landline. Frontier was our care phone carrier. Verizon, Verizon was, yes. Verizon Wireless was my phone company, then Frontier bought Verizon. Now, now our phone company is now Frontier, and before Frontier and before Verizon we had, um, what do they call it, uh, Ameritech, I think. I'm not really sure. All my life it used to be Verizon. And then recently it became Frontier. Now Frontier still runs the phone in our area, which is weird. They also run internet and stuff here. But I have cable oil, I have one cable company, I have 18, and I have a phone company. You can still get, you can still buy a landline, and your name and number might be in the phone book. Now, this is the county phone book. And actually, I know this picture was taken at, too, so this is a local county phone book. Now, used to be in the back here. Oh, here we go. Back here is people's names and stuff. I'm not going to show you their name. I'm not going to show you their numbers. But, yeah, back here is people, like, we got people's names and stuff here. Like, now, your basic phone number, your basic phone book is like a dictionary. Like, right here, if your name starts between this and this, the, your phone number will be on here. Now, this is what a phone book would be like today. It's also like a dictionary. There's also more business things in here too, but there's also names in here too. But if you have an older phone book, like from two thousand to th early two thousands, it looks different. I had a friend of mine from Vegas sent me a picture of their phone book. You know, a phone book where they live near my. Like we got an airport phone book. We got an airport phone book. This one actually has people's names and stuff in it. I mean, no one uses phone books anymore, but I still collect. I mean, come on, if I was gonna make a museum of history, I already have a couple. You now these are people's names and stuff. You know, companies and stuff, but some places don't have internet. Use this. Now, I'm still use a phone book. I still use a phone book for fun. But yeah, but those are phone books. These are normal books I read all day. But yeah, DVDs. This right here is a cell phone from 19 early to late 1990s. The first smartphone didn't come out until around 2017. Technically, that's a lie. First one came out in the night early early 90s. I should say the mid 1990s when the first smartphone came out, it had some bugs in it, but it never actually worked.
But yeah, 